Hi friends, it's Brittany here. Thank you so much for joining me for a book gathering here by the cedar tree. Well, today the book that I'd love to share with you is called Sun Up, Sun Down by Gail Gibbons. We love the books of Gail Gibbons. Many favorites. So here we begin. The sun wakes me up. It rises in the east and shines through my window. Can any of you see the sun out your window when you wake up? It lights up my room and makes patterns on my floor. Its brightness colors the clouds and the sky, but the sun itself is too bright to look at. It could hurt my eyes. I go down to breakfast. My cereal is made of wheat. My dad tells me the sun made the wheat grow. He says the sun gives power and energy to make plants and trees grow big and small. <laughs> we sure love the sun. It is summer because it is hot. I don't need to wear a coat or a sweater today. The sun is high in the sky, and the days are long. When the sun is low in the sky, the days are shorter. It is winter, and it is cold. That is when I need my coat, hat, and mittens. But on our summer morning like this, I see my shadow on the ground. The sun is behind me in the east. When I move, my shadow moves too, and it points west. By noontime, the sun is shining right above me. My shadow is gone. It is a hot time of day, and I am glad when my mother calls me for some lunch. I wonder if you'll start to think of the time of day based on where the sun is in the sky. While I'm eating, I ask my parents a question. How far away is the sun? My mother tells me it is very far away. 93 million miles from our planet, Earth. She says it is a very big star. It looks bigger than the other stars because it's closer to us. My dad says the sun is a ball of very hot glowing gases and it keeps our planet warm. He says our earth would be dark and very cold if there were no sun. It would also be empty. Nothing could live on it. After lunch, I go outside. My shadow is back again, but now it points east. The sun is moving west behind me. Suddenly, big clouds begin to cover the sun. My shadow is gone again. Over in the valley, the sun peeks through the clouds, making shadows on the ground.
More clouds come, they are gray and black. It becomes dark. A raindrop hits my nose and I run home. I hear the rain on the roof of my house. My dad says the sun helps make rain so that we can have fresh water to drink and so the plants and trees can grow. He tells me that when the sun shines on our oceans, lakes, and rivers, it warms the water. Some of the water turns into vapor and rises high into the sky. The cooler air up in the sky turns the vapor into tiny raindrops. Clouds are formed. The raindrops float higher up into colder air. They become bigger and bigger. Finally, when the drops are heavy and big enough, the drops fall and it rains. Soon the storm clouds begin to drift away. Although it is still sprinkling, the sun appears once again and shines through the raindrops. I see a beautiful rainbow, an arco iris. My mom says the light of the sun shining through the raindrops makes a rainbow. She tells me the sunlight looks white, but it really isn't. It is made up of many colors. When a beam of light shines through a glass triangle, called a prism, a beam of light is bent. Some of the rays of the beam bend more than others, separating when the light into different colors. The drops of water are like the prism. When sunbeams shine through the raindrops, what we see is a rainbow. When I go outside, my shadow is long and skinny. The sun is setting in the western sky. It is getting cold outside. The sun is leaving for today and the sky is getting dark. What time of day is it for you right now? My dad tells me the sun will shine on the other side of the planet when I'm asleep. He says the earth spins around and around and makes a complete turn once every 24 hours. When our part of the earth faces the sun, it is day. And when our part faces away from the sun, it is night. It is night now. The sun is down. The sky is dark. It is time to sleep. that's the book Sun Up Sun Down by Gail Gibbons we love this book it helps us remember how we can tell the time of day from the Sun and understand seasonal changes with the Sun and most of all be grateful that the Sun helps all of life survive on this planet Thanks for joining me for this book, friends. See you next time.